Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It is Professor Anime and welcome back to yet again another Gintama live reaction. Spitting out these videos as fast as I can so that way I can get up, uh, caught up to, you know, the currently airing Gintama series as well as get prepared for the Shogun assassination arc. I've been hearing that that arc is probably literally the best arc of Gintama and we are drawing nearer and nearer by the day so I'm trying to get these videos out as fast as I possibly can. In today's video, we are going to be watching and I'll be reacting to the Shinigami arc of Gintama. I heard that this arc is pretty good. I don't really know what to expect other than the fact that I guess there's a new character that is introduced and I'm gonna say this before anyone mentions the new opening. Uh, the new opening I have heard already and I have seen, I guess, you know, the character who has the Shinigami mask already. Uh, very good opening. Uh, opening 15 is amazing. I love it. I don't think it's as good as opening 11 or opening 13, but I definitely will say it's probably in my tops. So yeah, before anyone questions about whether I have already seen the opening already, I already have because basically what I'm doing in my spare time for Gintama is that I'll try to go on a little bit ahead to watch the comedy based episodes and then when I'm getting ready for the reaction I'll go ahead and react to those uh you know, episodes. So that way, you know, I, I kind of catch up to Gintama a little bit faster. So that's what I've been doing. So I just wanted to let you guys know about that. But anyways, enough of me rambling. Let us begin this video right now. Alright guys, we are going to start this episode at zero seconds. This episode is episode 279, the first episode to the Shinigami arc of Gintama. So without further ado, let us jump into this, and I'm assuming we're going to start at the opening. So here we go. Let's begin this in the count of five, four, three, two, one, play. Even though I have already heard this, at least you'll be able to see my reaction to it. Yo, I love this opening. Yeah. Dude, Gintama has such a good ass OST. Aw, oh, man, yo. I love this series so much. Yo, here we here we had the whole uh I, I, I just actually finished this a while ago. Where everyone it, it, like you have hot I think it was either Kondo-san or Hasegawa. I think it was Kondo who had the uh, uh, the roach mask at the festival. Tagasugi here. Yo, I love the symbolism there. Then there's the Shinigami girl. She looks pretty bae. She looks pretty bae. We're going to see her pretty soon, I'm assuming. And then this focused on, I'm assuming, the, <laughs> the, the party reunion. You got Sakamoto in there. Oh, and here's Gintoki and Hijikata, and I'm assuming that is probably a uh, Soul Switch reference. Joy scenes. Yeah. Yeah, this is so good. Yo, my girl Suki, you already know, do Yo. Yeah. So, yeah. The Reaper's Request. Please watch this program in a bright room in a safe distance from your TV. But like I've already stated, I've already watched uh, opening 15 of Gintama. Um, so, yeah. But at least you actually got to see my passion for the opening. Yeah. At first glance, he looked like any old drunker with a, a gnarly scratch on him. Ooh. Yo, the Grim Reaper up in here, severing his neck. Yo. The work of a Reaper. Yo, did, did this, uh, did these episodes air in October? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> Most likely not, probably. <sighs> Old. Hey, there's a, yeah, the idol. <laughs> hmm. 
Kentucky drunk. Oh, is that? Whoa, that's a little, uh, that's eerie, man. That kind of sounded like Hubei, though. The Reaper by day and the Reaper by night. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> Yo, is he like... <laughs> Yo. Ooh. The voice actor does sound a bit like Hubei. You know nothing about my suffering. It could be the same voice actor, or I could I could be wrong entirely. It could be another voice actor. I'm just saying it sounds like Hubei a little bit. <sighs> Atone for the, all the lives I have taken. Yeah. Oh. Oh man. Day she telling Gentoki to just swoosh swipe that head off, man. <laughs> Yo, she is tweaking out. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yo, uh, yo, you're, you're making her suffer, my boy. <laughs> oh, don't look this way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, now you got a dull blade, my boy. <laughs> oh, is she actually bleeding? Did she really stab herself? <laughs> This one's for Krillin. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Was that her intestine? <laughs> oh. <laughs> my god, just really. <laughs> Yo. Yo. Oh, he's gonna grab the rock. Ooh! Yo, look at the blood pouring out! <laughs> Jesus! I just helped with a suicide. Oh. They after you, my boy. Are you, are you serious? <laughs> he wrapped her intestines. Jesus. This guy. It's covered in blood. You killed a reaper. Yo, look at him. He has a hacksaw and everything, dude. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, goddamn. Shit. Mmm. All right. You all right, though? <laughs> all right. I, I, I respect that. See, even Shimpachi's like, oh, damn, baby. <laughs>
Ikeda Ikeda. I like this OST. It's like calming. And mysterious. Like her. Her presentation, her beauty was calming. But yet, there's so much left to be desired. Which leaves it a mystery. Mm. <laughs> Dang, man. And speaking about her... Yeah. Like, is it actually her committing these murders, or is it someone else entirely? That's the question. Yo, dude. <laughs> if they were a scooter... Eh. Target, because <laughs> targeting your head, Jesus. I'm still trying to get some of these characters uh, out of their uh, female <laughs> bodies from the Deco Boco arc. <laughs> I can't unsee it. <laughs> yep. Once they would commit Hata Kitty whew, to ease the pain. Or just to put them out of their misery, I meant, excuse me. As soon as they would do that. Yep. And then... Choom. Yep. Hung head style of execution. Who's that? Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm... Uh, you're the murderer. <laughs> if it's not the girl, it's you. <laughs> Royal source keeper. The 18th Ikeda. Yeah. Oh, Ikeda. Are they related? Yeah, they must be related then. Talk about this guy and the Shinigami girl, of course. Yeah, slice it right off the head. Oh. Okay. Outside of the Ikeda. Soul cleansing. The late former Yaimon. You. And then I'm assuming your sister. But there is one on the run. Dang! Just disappeared. <laughs> Every... Everything has been cut. Jeez. What excellence. Oh. Jeez. I'm not gonna lie. She's pretty cute. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. In Toki Fowler. Hmm. Nah, man. It, it, yo, if she's innocent, I mean, for all we know, she could have, like, a split personality or something. But... It's probably that dude, most likely. <laughs> Let's just be honest. It's no longer your master.
Ooh. Them spilling their guts and then to... Ah, oh, man. And then just... Oh. There's a switch in her. There's a switch in her. <laughs> Gatoki's such a creep, man. <laughs> Damn! Alright, you want to go forward with her. Let's go, my boy. <laughs> you could not aside, mom. <laughs> One more private part you shouldn't touch. <laughs> what? <laughs> this. These two are definitely loose your name. Mm. I met Nip. Wait. Oh! <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Savage. <laughs> Yo. Yo. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> and there she is. Hey, finally come back. I'll sign up. They, they they have to be brother and sister, right? I, I mean, they're from the same family, but that doesn't entirely mean that they're brother and sister, though. We'll, we'll, we'll see. Yo, what? This nipple looks familiar to me. <laughs> the heinous villains. It ain't no skull. It's just Gintoki's nip. <laughs> Oh, you better put that down, Kagura. You don't know your own strength. I mean, you're a Yato after all. <laughs> mm -mm. Oh, I returned your nipple. What? <laughs> Yo, they creeped out, man. <laughs> Gorilla. <laughs> <laughs> uh. 
What? <laughs> yeah, what? <laughs> Well, I can definitely tell she probably, uh, never mind. I'm going to keep that comment to myself. <laughs> I'm going to keep that comment to myself. <laughs> they're like siblings, so they're not actually siblings. An orphan he adopted. Okay, gotcha. So they're not, so they're not blood related. Okay. Which of us became Yaima? So that's when they kill them. Hmm. Yeah. So that's why they're after. Oh, that kind of sucks. I hear the entire family would have been wiped out. Mm. See, Gitoki's picking up on things. He senses something going on, man. Yeah. Yep. That even if we walk down different paths, the sky would keep us connected. Both the Reaper by day and the Reaper by night would protect the things the previous had left behind. In my eyes, she's also one of the precious things the previous had my father left me. Huh. Or run into a serial killer and lose your head. Ooh. Yo, this OST. Ooh, has your name on it. Ooh. Okay, interesting developments. All right. Okay, so there's nothing at the end, right? Just the ending and then, yeah, the preview. Okay. All right, so that does it for episode 279. So we got two more episodes, 280 and 281, but I could definitely tell you right now that, uh, the Shinigami arc has a very interesting um, introduction to these characters, as well as an interesting setup to how things are going to play from here on out. So I'm actually really excited on how 
um, this arc is going to, uh, you know, go from here on out. And wh what's funny to me is that what I've noticed from this arc, it, 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 like, from judging from the first episode, it's pretty much straightforward from the get-go. You know, it's it, it takes it very, uh, very seriously in the beginning. Um, like, there wasn't really too many, like, comedic parts to this episode. I mean, you know, ju judging from the beginning of, you know, the arc in general, because usually when it comes down to the serious arcs of Gintama, you know, they have a very comedic beginning to them and then halfway through the episode that's when we start to you know really get invested and in, you know start learning more about you know the character and what exactly is going on and you know what have you you know it, it, Gintama usually follows that formula but when it comes to the Shinigami arc it seems like they're handling like a different formula in terms of the presentation of it because Actually, there was, like, only a few parts in which I laughed at, you know, with just Gintoki and the dynamic between, um, you know, uh, him and Amaimon, you know, but for the majority of this episode, it was very, it was taken very, very seriously in its presentation, and it, it, it kind of, you know, brings a lot of, uh, you know, uh, foreshadowing to come about in the future uh, episode. So I'm actually kind of excited to see what else this arc has in store for me. So I'm going to get started on episode 280. So yeah, those are my thoughts of episode one. So I'll see you guys on episode 280. Okay, guys, we are back with Morgan Tama, episode 280 this time, still continuing off of where we left off in the Shinigami arc of Gintama, and we just found out at the end that apparently a Saimon is in fact not the one that is committing these murders, but it's actually uh, her, you know, other relative uh, who is named Yaimon, uh, the, the, the former Yaimon. And also, regarding that factor, apparently... While Yaimon is also a serial killer going about committing these murders, he also has a list of the former escapees that uh, were to be executed on the list from the previous uh, Yaimon. And Sakata Gintoki apparently was one of those members on the list. So, yeah, uh, we're going to most likely get some more, you know... It, it backstory and probably uh, some reveals also, you know, about, you know, how Gintoki is, you know, a part of this in, you know, this episode. So we're going to get this episode started because I'm very interested to see what this episode has in store for me. So with that said, let's begin this episode in the count of five, four, three, two, one, play. Episode 280. Damn. Oh, that, that's the, that's the former Yaimon. Eighteenth. Does that mean like the eighteenth Yaimon? And then here we have the opening again. I love this opening. Let me know uh, your thoughts in the comments down below, guys. Like, what are your personal thoughts on opening 15 of Gintama. Like, anybody thinks that opening 15 is, like, their favorite? Or, like, just just what do you personally feel about the opening? Visually, uh, artistically, and vocally. Like, the audio and all of that. I love the singer's voice. The art artistry, visually and everything, the opening looks great. I, I love everything about this opening. But, again... I don't think it beats opening 11 or 13 for me personally. I love this part. Yo. The shitty guy me girl going in. A Simon. I think I just saw the Shogun in there now that I think about it. <laughs> Yo. And I'm assuming with Hijikata in here, uh, Gintoki, this is the Soul Switch reference. And then there's the Joy War scenes. I need more of those scenes, man. Probably, uh, possibly even, like, see some Kurokoro in there, you know? <laughs> Which is probably not going to happen because Sarashi wants Kurokoro to be forgotten. <laughs> oh, man. I love this. Human or demon? Hmm. That is the question. All right. 
Also, this arc of Gintoki has a fire OST right now. Like, oof. Just like the serial killer's other victims. You two were supposed to lose your head ten years ago. A criminal my father let us get. Yo, so we better... If he... If this has to deal with Gintoki's past, because if it's leading to this arc right here, we need some flashbacks in this arc right here regarding Gintoki, how he's involved. Of saving criminals with his life. Shroud the truth of his death in darkness. Yo, that sucks for her, though, man. Surely you're justified to use it for the Ikeda family's sake. Dang. In a way, this has... Please keep a, a Simon safe. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, the Mima Watagumi? After a fair trial. That the same day. Ikeda Yaimon. Ah, oh, that's when they brought her in. Okay. But. Criminal. Ikeda Asaima. That it was indeed the head. Of the serial killer. Eh, she looks precious, man. <laughs> it's just your imagination. <laughs> Dead on paper. Sword can no longer cut anything. The only beings capable of turning them human again at the end are neither demons that take human heads nor reapers that take their souls, but humans who serve their sins to save their souls. Yo, oh, look. This had to have been after the war, then. I'm assuming. So after, I'm assuming, like, you know, he was released from prison, or when he eventually escaped, that's when he met uh, Otose, right? And that's where Otose picked him up. And then thus... Gin's life changed. So yeah, this had to have been directly after the war. No turning back. <laughs> nah, you're just you're you're just hungry, Kagura. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so go. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh.
Damn. day when I had to kill him. Dang. That's messed up, man. He meant the world to me. Dang. So the technique failed. Yo. Dang. Dang. Oh, that must have been. Yo. Your father never broke. That execution is a conviction to respect all people as fellow humans. He never. Dang, man. Yo. Mad props. He was simply a good man. Uh. <laughs> uh oh. I was waiting for them to get into the same barrel. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna fart. <gasps> Jesus. What, what are they doing? <laughs> Check out this barrel. Yeah. Hiji, Hiji got the... Is afraid of ghosts. And Toki, too, as well. Yo! <laughs> Yo! That was amazing! The mayonnaise... Oh! Was that thing still alive? <laughs> After the end of the Joy War, yeah, see? Hito Tsubashi may be influenced enough to take over the box food cabinet now. Okay. Dang, man, you...
Okay. <laughs> Have been sold out. Rumored to be the next Shogun by that re... Oh, boy. Well, then. Well, then. Shoit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Wasn't that supposed to? Ten years later, however, Yaimon himself was killed by the Ikeda family. The people he saved were wiped out by the Seiyuu clan. By Ikeda family members. Oh, wow. Sold out, indeed. Ah. Oh, Jesus. Unfortunately, we're not very good at sucking up. Yo. <coughs> hey, quit it. My dog, right in the middle of a reaction. Nice. Yo. It's about to go down. Isn't that why you went so far as to kill the man in race? Nah, man, you got it wrong. Ah, oh, man. Yo, you, they, don't, they just don't understand, man. They don't understand. That sucks. That sucks, dude. Just what did I protect with my sword? Dang. Yo, my boy Kitoki. Yo, let's go. Dude, I gotta say right now, my boy loves to jam his wooden sword in the mouths of the enemy. <laughs> I don't care how weird that sounded, it's true. <laughs> oh, man. If it's a Reaper you want, there's one right here. Yo, let's go. We on a boat. We about to get Benny Zakura up in here. <laughs> hey, we got Shinpachi. And even Kagura walking here, yo. They're like, you want to go? Well, let's go. Yo. Damn. We 
your head? Uh. I'd rather be by another moronic execution. They going in. But Yaimon and me. S Yo. Seriously, th th this dude's wooden sword is literally made out of metal. <laughs> it's made out of steel. Because <laughs> even regular swords can't cut through it. <laughs> no reapers that take their souls. But humans who sever their sins. Ah, uh, it's the same quote that uh, Gentoki said earlier. Yo, she gonna go in. She gonna get ready to cut everything. Woo! Shinigami. Yo. Nah. -uh. Nah. -uh. Damn. Yo. That he did nothing wrong. Yo, my girl Kagura, let's go. Shinbachi. Was Shinbachi holding uh, the sword reverse, Lee? I'm assuming he's doing that to not kill anybody, right? You know? And that's what it looked like. He, he was holding, like, the reverse, you know, like a reverse blade. Like he's like a Roni Kenshin or something like that. <laughs> You're the traitor. Are you going to abandon your duty to save criminals lives? Yo. I like this arc, man. Yeah. Yo, she getting ready? She getting ready? You will die with me here. Yep, 18th. Yep. They weren't worthless. Yo, is she going in? Long reach. Oh, boy. Oh! Oh! He cut the whole damn bread. Yo, let's, let's go! Oh! Yo, these drums, man. Yo, we gotta get to the next episode. Oh my god. Yo, what the fuck happened? Yo, what the fuck happened? Yo, what the fuck happened? Yo, what the fuck Alright, hold on. I gotta get to the next episode, guys. Alright, so I'll see you guys on episode 281. Alright.
Alright guys, we are back at it once again with Morgan Tama, episode 281 now, and this is going to be the final episode of the Shinigami arc, so without further ado, let's jump into it. Uh, we're just going to begin this episode at zero seconds, so let's begin this in the count of five, four, three, two, one, and play. Oh, this sounds different. Same opening, but... Uh... Why is there a different audio? Wait, is this a- wait. What opening was this? I heard this before. Or, wait. Oh no, no, this is the ending theme, isn't it? Yeah, this is the ending theme, I believe. Yeah, this is the ending theme, I believe. Yeah, they, they, they've done this before, where they would switch the ending theme into the opening. And then, I guess, because of the fact that the, this is the last episode to, you know, a serious arc of Gintama, they're going to put the opening at the ending, so. Yeah, because they, they, they've done that before, so. You know, it doesn't actually go that bad like or like i mean it doesn't actually um seem that bad you know it kind of fits i'm not gonna lie it kind of fits and i kind of like it i'm not gonna lie probably doesn't fit it visually but regardless <laughs> You will die with me here. Yeah, so I I'm assuming that Gintoki probably helped a Simon out because, you know, he always comes in to save the day at the last second. Damn, man. Yo. These drums, though. Prr. Yep. What did I say? What did I say? Always oh, at the last second. Yo, he's going in. <gasps> what? Yo, you really lost the nip now, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but let's be honest here. He ain't going down. Oh shit. Yo. Oh, yo. Your father, a joy rebel, was killed in the joy war. And thus orphaned, you were adopted by the previous head. But that is not the truth. Survive the war, just like this man. Once he served that purpose, he ran. Damn, this guy just so yo. I am this idiot's daughter. <laughs> That's the... Mm. And 
took your father's head. Huh. Hmm. Because he took your place. Aw, man. <laughs> You're annoying me, you damn pipsqueak. <laughs> Protect you. Uh. Nice. <laughs> that's that's I'll be I'll be scared if a kid said that to me, man. I wouldn't think there's something really messed up with the kid, but I mean then again, due to her background, you know, you, you I know why, but <laughs> Dang, this messed up. <sighs> nah, she ain't gonna do it. She going in. Oh! Both? Wow, this, yo, oh my god, yo, oh, ooh, yo, let's go. Oh, yo! Oh, yo! That was sick. Yo. Nice teamwork there, man. I pulled off the so Okay, so we're going back to what we saw in 
It's not gonna reach anyone anymore. Damn! Yo! Uh-oh. Oh, the barrel's coming in. I was gonna say, that's either Kagura or Sogo. <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> my boy, Hijikata. <laughs> oh my god. Ooh! <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> Where's your ride? <laughs> uh oh. Oh. Who's going to protect the Ikeda? Oh, damn! Holy crap! Damn, you don't even need to use a sword! <laughs> Jeez! And you are willing to kill me in order to uphold him. Executioner spirit. We both loved his sword. Dang. You jump again. The new Yaimon. Oh, he got a sword back. Oh, yeah, there's that dude. Because there was someone with Yaimon at the time uh, who said that. Patricid? A serial killer? Or the fool who saw you the Hitosubashi? Yo. Who is that? Who? Hiso Subashi? No, but and without a doubt, this country's execution. Yo. What the fuck? She get. She get. Oh my gosh. But the moment you give up on that, the one coming for your head could be him or me. 
Oh man. Yo. Yo, the future arcs are gonna get crazy. Yo. Oh man. By the Hitosubashi. Hitosubashi. Did Gintoki get it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, jeez. The serial killer victims were all criminals who were supposed to be beheaded. It's complicated. Man. True. So who else would it be? It, it would have to be... It, she would have to pay the price. It's either... Ah, oh, man. <laughs> oh, he didn't know. She did. Oh, fuck, no. You mean she's not going to appear in later... What? Nah. Yeah, she's still alive. Yo, she looks like a goddess. They meant that. They meant that figuratively. Yeah, I, I should have caught that. Honestly, I, I shouldn't have been that spooked by it. The whole. Basically just meant her starting a new life for herself. She taken off the mask. What a bakafu The nineteenth Ikeda Yaiban. 
No longer a Saimon, but Yaimon. Dude, the <laughs> the writing of the dialogue with the cast is amazing. Whew. Cutting the Reaper mask off, man. Yo, dude. Yo, look at her. Yo. That was a sweet ending. Yo, look at Gintoki, man. When people sin and degenerate into demons, the only beings capable of turning them human again are humans. That's I have no right to cut you. A demon has no right to cut a fellow demon. You promised, did you not? Yeah, and then that's when they met Otose. When he finally escaped. Yo. <laughs> she took my damn nipple again. <laughs> Farewell, Reaper. Yo, guys, that was a good arc. That was a good arc. There has to be more. Nah, there might not be. Uh, let, me, let me just watch this. I just want to watch the credits roll and listen to this song. This was a really good art, guys. The ending, the, it, 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 the conclusion to it, and, like, the symbolism behind, you know, what was said between um, uh, the former uh, Yaimon and Gintoki, like, around the time when Gintoki was a prisoner and everything... Yo, there's so much power in that dialogue. I like, I, I, I like, I love the dialogue. I, I can't say I like it because I love the dialogue. Every time it showed the scenes with Gintoki and Yaimon, that was amazing. Like, I love the dialogue because there were there were some there were some words and impact behind that man. And then when you had the Shinsengumi setting them off, yo, like, yo. Gintama has so many good moments. There ha I don't think there's going to be anything. This is just the end right here. Yo, I love that picture right there. A phoenix rises from the ashes over and over. Okay. Actually, uh, to be quite frank with you, uh, I've actually already watched that op uh, Excuse me, that episode. So, <laughs> And I think directly after that, we're getting into the uh, confessional arc or what have you. So I think that's really it. But anyway, the Shinigami arc was a really good arc. Like I said before, I love the choice of dialogue. That was given off between Gintoki and uh, the former uh, Yaimon. I, I just love that so much. I mean, all, all these characters' dialogue, really, when it comes to certain arcs, like, the, it, just how the dialogue is written, I love it. It, it, it. It's it's awesome. And just some of these, like, motivating kind of, you know, quotes or whatever, or, you know, something that seems like a dark quote, but it's brought into a, like, kind of like a light at the end of the tunnel sort of thing. I, I, I love it. Like, I, I love quotes like that. It, it, it's awesome. Um, but what we saw at the end, it kind of sucks due to, you know, the previous Yaimon. I mean, he got what, he got what was coming to him, you know, but, uh, 
regarding the Hitsusubashi, I think that's what it's called, the Hitosubashi, they were actually brought up in the Courtesan of a Nation arc, were they not, if I'm correct, uh, and they were only mentioned briefly, but this is the arc where we really get to see some of them, <laughs> you know, and that, uh, I forget the guy's name, Hitsubashi Nobu, or something like that, I forget the name, but it definitely does seem as though he is going to play a very important role in the coming episodes. And I'm assuming that just judging on how he was introduced at the end of this arc, most likely he is going to appear in the Shogun assassination arc, which is going to be around like episode like 300. Because I'm already, I can already say it right now, there is some big things planned with that guy. Especially for the fact that you had Tagetsugi in the background. I don't even know. I don't know what's going to happen, guys. I'm excited. I'm excited. That's all I can really say. That's all I can really say. But man, th th this arc uh, was was great. I love the Shinigami arc. And honestly, I think it did give me a new uh, you know, uh, favorite character of Gintama. Like, I mean... I have my favorites, right? But I, I mean, like, in terms of a new bay, like, I think, uh, I think, uh, Ikeda Yaiman, the 19th one. <laughs> I'm gonna call her a Saimon, because that's how I know Rez, but a Saimon, she, she's bay material. She, she's bay material. I gotta say that. And her hairstyle kind of reminds, I mean, she doesn't have the same hairstyle, but the hair color and whatnot reminds me a lot of Suki. And some of the snippets that we saw at the end, she looked like a pure goddess, like Suki. I'm not saying that she is on par with Suki, but I gotta say, she's definitely Bay, and I like her a lot. I, I, I still am a man of my word. Suki is best girl. I mean, next to Kagura, of course. I mean, Kagura, Kagura is like, you know, best girl, best girl. But like, in terms of like, best waifu or <laughs> whatnot, <laughs> I'm going with Suki. <laughs> now I'm just rambling here. But, yo, I, I love the female cast and in good in topic, regardless, you know. So, yeah, that about does it for the Shinigami arc. Episodes 279 through 281. And I believe the next arc that I should be reacting over might be the confessional we'll see i'll i'll check in the comments down below on you know how exactly you guys want me to go about that because i haven't really heard too much on the confessional arc i heard that it kind of serves as a prelude to this shogun assassination arc if i'm thinking of the correct arc uh but yeah other than that i haven't really heard too much of it because it's more of a comedy based arc but yeah let me know in the comments down below if you guys would like to see that or not um let me know in the comments down below what other reactions you guys would like to see as well and how are you enjoying these reactions let me know in the comments uh what were your favorite uh episodes of the shinigami arc um probably the whole thing probably for some of you out there but like uh, to be more descriptive i guess what were your favorite moments out of the shinigami arc and also is a simon uh you know top tier for you like let me know in the comments because I, I think she I think she's babe material, you know? So yeah, with that said, everyone, thank you very much for watching. Be sure to give this video a like if you enjoyed. Hit that red subscribe button down below if you are new to the channel and you want to see more Gintama content from me as well as anime and manga content in general. Share this video around, you know, anywhere, whether it be Twitter, Reddit, uh instagram or or you know just any social media links i mean instagram you can't really send links from what i know of to my knowledge and whatnot but anyways any social media source in which you think that other people out there will enjoy these gintama live reactions be sure to share it with your friends and wherever you you know go on social media nowadays and what have you so yeah with that said everyone thank you very much for watching i'll see you all in the next one